of the continuous stream and working on the on the border. Uh, one of the things is that when uh, you stay in a consort, yeah. you can if you move to the back here, you realize that then there's a circular hole inside that. What the circular hole means is that the hole in the core takes out the concrete After testing, even the concrete from this new one has filled. And it is still within the 7 to 9 as it was shown to you at the site. You see a similar test on that on the same one. So, the the of the 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 you see that there's a there's, there's a cabin hole that has that has been left there, and you see how the iron rod has already rusted, and the movement iron rod rust. It because it's connected, the rest like cancer goes through the whole facility, so you cannot tell the extent of damage. If you go to the top, you realize that we expose some areas to try to see how, how how much of it has been affected, and you understand why uh, we as consultants uh, decided that uh, we recommend. To, our, to the point, not to continue with this process because it wasn't, wouldn't have been the most potential thing for future So, if you follow me, this is the column that is the beginning of the, of the, of the project. Now, uh, as to the time they designed it, we would have worked if they had been designed well because of the need to try to resolve the issue. These new columns were attempted by the new contractor who came in. Even this still didn't work. What it means is that if we have to work on this, it means that we have to make a big and we want to, this one we call jacketing by encasing it again. Encasing it, we are losing space and not getting any value for money. And these are some of the things that virtually led to it. And if you see the way we done the foundation, what it means is that we go to the top. This is what we mean. We are made to polish all this. We have to work on the foundation from the ground. Every company 
use the communication minimum power. Currently, this is not the minimum power. So we get this to see how much the rat is running to it. So you can see how it interconnects. So once it's rusting, it goes through the whole facility. And then every time you see a patch, it means that there was a problem. And somebody has tried to cover the patch. And it gives you an extent, this is the level of this, this is an extent of the level of problems you have to deal with. And it's the inability to deal with determine the level of situation to deal with. Um, this is a typical investigation. You need to know the thickness of the slab we're If you look at this, you realize that the fire sizing, first of all, is too small. Uh, the detailing is not as smooth and it's moving. So, as you a simple demonstration, you do, do not panic. I beg you. Hey, it's okay. That is just a single no, test. It's okay. So imagine the effect of having to move so many people, so many equipment around, people around, coming to add weight to it, and that's what we are dealing with. So it's, it's, we just wanted to have a seal of this. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately for you, these are some of the seals. Now, every time you see marks like this, they are not, they are not uh, standard marks. They are iron rods that are resting within, that are ready to be exposed. So the moment we hit this, if you have to peel this off, all you see is rusted iron rods, corroded iron rods, in that So if you move here, it's very hard. So it is actually corroded, and it keeps going, and it runs to the whole place. These are the places that these ones came up by themselves. They realize that there's, there's actually no, there's no undercover to the to the enforcement. And the resource, the slabs are so thin that they cannot take on the sort of equipment and the new design they are doing. It, 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 it is impossible based on what we have. Yes, we, can, we, we may be able to do it, but it's not practical economically. You know, the time frame and everything that we, we are working with. So, if you get here, we do a simple demonstration for you to see. You can come and look at this from the other side. Now, you see it from here. So, let's assume that it's fully one side. Why, why can't you repair the back? Now, look at the back. Now, from the front, you see the same. From within, you see the same. Now, if you can spread out like uh, one of the safety officers, can somebody pick what, the road? Yes, engineer, pick the road. Can you move from that please side? Move from that move side. Please move from that side. side. This side, spread. Spread, spread. spread. Please spread. I want you to take, uh, take the concrete with it and let's see how it reacts. Can you do it? Oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Anybody wants to try? Alright. So, we are from. So it gives you an idea of what we are talking about. So other people others get opportunity to use their hands to build off concrete for them to also feel how it actually This is concrete, supposed to be concrete. This is thing. The strength of the building. You realize that every time you do it, all you saw was drafted. Please mind your step. Mind your step. All these are investigation things that we put in down during the course of the investigation. Uh, if you look up, you see the level of corrosion over here. The same honeycomb, concrete in the beam and everything. Now, this, this, this particular place is a point of view. Uh, when we were working on this project, after the government had uh, given approval for contractors to repair the structure, repair where started, we were going to see all this investigation going. On. One day, one early morning, when we were working, Whilst we are in the space, they started falling off by itself. The reason why we realized that we have a certain group of trucks all gathered around this area is to ensure that we keep this washing in place because we actually don't know what is happening and what will continue to happen. And this is one of the things that led to the further and better progress, and that's why we discovered so much within it. So you see that it's rusted the same way, the concrete is ready to fall off, and it is as bad as it goes. So,
you want to look at the page, okay, so you can have a look at the page before you go out. What we will discover. We've, we've discovered under size columns, we've discovered columns that are misaligned. We we'll find one column here, the next we need to move to the other side. And these are some of the challenges we were uh, faced with and we discovered during the investigation. So if you go up, you will see some of the things we are talking about. So we want you to go and do the, the concrete with your hand. Yes. 
we, we recommend that that is done. Because we've seen the metal statement that the contractor intends. Then because it's a, it's a donor funded contract. First of all, the contractor is not allowed to use the It's supposed to demolish in a safe way, which is safe to the environment. Now we are doing control demolition, bits and bits, bits and bits. So we think that if we are doing control demolition, we do not intend to experience any form of vibration or any form of disturbance that should disturb any of the work that is going on. We've seen their metal statement and we are satisfied with it that it is that we can go on preparing it. And we've gone ahead to do our stakeholder engagement, of which we've been participating because we want to be part. And the community has been assured and we are putting in methods to ensure that we, do, we will not disturb the employee uh, with dust or noise. And uh, as you can see, we are still doing some form of demolition, but I'm sure if we were, if we were going beyond the acceptable levels, uh, we have either heard from the community or from EP. And by current data to speak, our uh, data is within the treasury and we keep monitoring to ensure that we do the right thing. Um, from what we have discovered, every every building is so imagine you have a timber. That's your timber is aging. This is a screen. So it's a, a timber door to an external door. It, 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 it destroys quicker than if you have an internal. If you have an internal timber door, it might last you a hundred years. So we are of the opinion that weathering is a major that's the weather, it's a major effect on the way the building has degraded as quickly as we see it. So, yes, I will, I will, I will attribute the majority of it. The, the yes, please. Did it explain to you? No, it's been raining. So you see that it keeps going through the whole building, the whole building is exposed. So one, one, build, one portion of the building begins to grasp and then it goes through the whole place. Can you put the light up here? You see the white marks? This is the sign of water coming from the top. That is the effect of it. So over time, this kind of, kind of thing has happened throughout the building so that it's weakening the concrete. It's got to through the concrete to the iron rods and the iron rods are rusty. Now when the iron rods are rusty, the concrete really doesn't go the iron rods anymore. So then it's easy for it to act the way it's acting, then it cleans it off. And then eventually the building will fail. So these are things that have happened over time. If this building were finished many years ago, it would have been covered, protected, every now and then we do maintenance, that's how we keep the life of the building going. But once it's left in this way, it is taking the harsh weather, rain, water, with all the chemicals, sun, rain, water, so many years, it's it's gone. I mean, it's the situation where somebody will say in local language, a napro, that they have made a con a pro. That's a, it's, it's a say. Oh, so we need to look at this thing and uh, that's why you are here. So take a good look, take pictures, record it, and let people yes, know. If you can test it too. You can test it, the results are there. You know. So summary, in summary, in summary, what we are saying is okay. the you. building hasn't got the strength, you know, to take on the kind of Reinforcement. Just imagine how are you going to fix the reinforcement to this one 
the, 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 the beam and to the flower. You have to support the whole building. Even the person doing the work will not have space to work. And it's a huge risk because one mistake, the whole building, if you knock out one column like this, the whole building can come down. We cannot take that risk. It, it does not serve anybody well for us to continue this building. Period. What would you say to people who see the business and causing the financial loss of business? Well, we have lost some money because this is an investment as a stance. So there's no argument about that. But we cannot continue to do things that will cause more financial loss. So enough is enough. We will not continue to create problems. We have enough money to build a facility that will be useful to Confanati, and that is what we are going to do. The name, please. My name is Richard Lambert, I work with the Ministry of Health. Thank you.